Okay, this is part two of the ECG overview. Um, you can see I have a little man here. He's uh, he's here to represent where you place uh, the basic electrodes. Um, so you can have, it's most important that you have a right arm, left arm, left, a, left leg. Uh, often you have, and I'm not drawing for some reason, uh, often you have a, uh, right leg as well, so do right leg. Um, and then you'll have your precordial leads. Uh, just FYI, uh, so usually you have four limb leads uh, and you'll have six precordial leads for a total of 10 electrodes. Um, that's the standard. Um, you can also, of those 10 electrodes, you make uh, 12 standard leads. Uh, for those, uh, just uh, an overview, a lead is actually made from the voltage difference between two electrodes. So you'll have six total electrodes and 12 total leads. Uh, just as a bit of trivia, during a stress test, uh, limb leads uh, will actually often be placed on the body trunk, uh, and that is to avoid movement artifacts. So if you're in a stress test, if you're on a treadmill going back and forth, uh, the movement of your limbs will confuse the, the voltage readings, so they usually put them on the trunk. Um, so for the V, the precordial leads. So let's say, this is going to be really bad anatomy, but let's say this is the patient's sternum. Um, on the right side of the sternum, you're going to have one lead that's going to be your V1 lead. And that's going to be about right there. Um, it's going to be in the fourth intercostal space to the right of the sternum. Uh, you can kind of use the nipples as a, uh, a very vague uh, guideline uh, for that, but it's, it'll be a little bit uh, maybe above the nipples or uh, the nipple line. But um, like I said, the anatomy on this guy is bad. Uh, V2 is going to be on the exact same spot, but on the left side of the sternum. So again, that's the fourth intercostal space to the left of the sternum. Um, I'm going to skip to V4. So this is one. This is V2. Um, I'm going to skip to V4, and you'll see why in a sec. So V4 is actually going to be in the fifth intercostal space. So you just feel, you know, between the ribs for these two, and then you feel down to the next rib, and below that you put that one, and that's V4. And you put V3 diagonally between V2 and V4. So you need to put V4 first before you put V3. Um, V4, 5, and 6 are all going to be in a horizontal line. V5 is going to be in the left anterior axillary line. So it's going to be like right here. And a good, I think you can write that, that's 5. Um, so a good way, a good marker usually for that, depending on the body habitus of your patient, is the armpit fold. So basically the front of the armpit, you'll see a little fold here. You go straight down, that's where V5 goes. V6, you won't be able to see in this orientation, but it'll be in the left mid-axillary line. So middle of the armpit, go all the way straight down, and that'll be, that's V6. Um, again, 4, 5, and 6 should be horizontal, and 1 and 2 should be horizontal. And V3 should go in between uh, V2 and V4. So I'm going to pause for a second. We'll go back and figure out how to do electrodes in a sec. OK, and we're back. And I reset my little, my little guy. And we're going to be talking about how to do lead determination. Um, so like I said before, uh, a lead is the voltage between two different electrodes. Uh, limb lead one is going to be between the right arm and the left arm. It's not working. So it's going to be between the right arm and the left arm. This side is going to be positive. And that doesn't look good, so we'll do that again. This is positive. This is negative. That's limb lead one. I'll circle that. Uh, limb lead two is going to be between uh, the left leg and the left arm. So we'll go like that. This end is positive. This end is negative. And limb lead three is going to be between the left leg and the right arm, just like that. Again, this is positive towards the bottom, and this is negative. So this is limb lead one. This is limb lead two. This is limb lead three. OK, and then we'll reset again so I can show you the other limb leads. OK, so we reset the guy again. Uh, the other uh, limb leads, called the AV leads, are uh, composite leads. So instead of going from one electrode to another, uh, two electrodes are combined and make uh, um, 
sort of a mathematical electrode, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, and so what uh, those look like are uh, the left arm lead and the left leg lead are combined. I don't have a red here, a sec. Uh, left arm lead and, and left leg lead are combined to form one, basically, that'll be negative here. And then that is compared, oops, that is compared to the right arm. Sorry about that. And that's positive. Um, and that is going to be ABR as it goes to the right arm. And we'll reset and talk about the other ones. Okay, so for AVL, which is what we'll do here, um, AVL, uh, it's going to be a composite lead between the right arm and the left leg. And that's going to be negative this time. And that's going to go to left arm, which is positive. And our last composite lead is going to be between uh, I don't want that to come up on the right arm and the left arm. That side is going to be negative. And it's going to go down to the left leg. It's going to be positive. So, and that's going to be ABF. And you can think of those as ABL for left, ABR for right, and LVF for feet. Um, And uh, just the last thing I'll say is that for the precordial leads, um, those are the leads uh, in the chest, you know, remember V1, V2, V3, et cetera. Um, they use something called Wilson's terminal um, for the other side, the other electrode that they're compared to. And uh, Wilson's terminal is an average of the right arm, the left arm, and the left leg uh, electrodes. And basically that estimates the center, the average potential of the body. Um, those are all, the average of those are determined, are going to be the negative pole, uh, and the, uh, each individual precordial lead is going to be the respective positive pole.